This is lesson four and four tenths, converting liquid measure. So why are we learning about converting liquid measure? Well, this happens to be one of those skills that you can use in your everyday life, especially if you ever go to the doctor and get a prescription, or you have kids someday and you're trying to figure out how much medicine to give them. So this is one of those life skills that will come in handy, and yes, you will use it in math, and you will use it in science, as we've seen already. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna take a look at a measurement scale, and I wanna ask you a couple of questions here. This should look not quite familiar because we haven't used the same scale, but it should look familiar in the way that we have one unit on one side and one unit on the other. So here's my question to you. How can I use this measurement scale to find out how many milliliters are in two liters? So if you look at the scale, we have milliliters on this side and we have liters on this side. So again, how can I find how many milliliters are in two liters? So if I look here and find two liters, I find that there are 2,000 milliliters. So let's say that we had a class that sold three and five tenths liters of lemonade to raise money for a field trip. How many milliliters is that? And could we use this measurement scale to find the answer? Well, since it was three and five tenths, that's halfway between three and four, right? So we could look for the spot that is halfway between three liters and four liters, and then we could move across to the milliliters to find the equivalent measurement. So between is probably going to be about in here, and as we go across, we see that's between 3,400 milliliters and 3,600 milliliters. So halfway between those two would be 3,500. So could we use this scale to convert from liters to milliliters? I used the scale just now, didn't I? So I would say yes. Is there another way that we can convert liters to milliliters. Hmm, so if I don't have this scale, what could I do? Well, let's go back to one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Could I use multiplication? Yes, so if I had three liters, I would take that times 1,000 and I would get one or 3,000 milliliters. So we are definitely going to be practicing some of these in class, but I just need you to understand that yes, I can use the scale and I can go from this side to this side pretty easily. I can also go from milliliters to liters. I can go both directions. That, that's pretty handy, but what if I don't have the scale? So my key unit that I need to remember is one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. And I can use multiplication, so I can multiply to find those, especially if I am given how many liters. So in class, we will convert between amounts of liquid measure using either the scale or multiplication. And we will practice doing these things with partners and on our own. And that's enough. So I'll see you then. Can't wait.